Hi, Gareth here from Port Monkeys, and today we're on the Carnival Miracle. And I'm on deck two right now. Of course, we're celebrating our 50th birthday on Carnival. And this is the Metropolis Lobby. So there's a bar here, glass elevators, and they go all the way up to deck 10 maybe. Guest services are over there. Carnival Adventures, which is shore excursion desk. And lots of seating and loud music. In the evenings, performers get up there and play and sing right behind the bar there. This is Mr. Lucky's Casino. It's got table games, roulette, craps, slot machines, lots of um, smoking on this side, non-smoking on the starboard side. Mr. Lucky's Casino, and I guess that's Mr. Lucky himself. This is the Java Blue Cafe. Here you can get your specialty coffee and pastries, but there is an additional charge for that. This is the Skybox Sports Bar. A lot of TV screens, a lot of seating. This is the Red Frog Pub. You can get your Red Frog Ale in here. The band plays in the evenings. There are some little games you could play over there. We're in the Phantom Theater now, and it's got a lower level on deck two, a mid-level on deck three, and an upper level that you enter from deck four. It's a fairly big theater, and on this cruise anyway, it's never been crowded. We came back out of the Phantom Theater, and now we're gonna go to Mad Hatter's Ball which is down a stairway. Well, Mad Hatter's Ball is set up for an art show again. At night, it becomes a comedy club. I think they throw the Platinum Elite parties in here. We've gone up from Promenade Deck 2 to Atlantic Deck 3. We're on the starboard side. Usually, you can't get anywhere on the port side. I do want to briefly show you Gatsby's Garden which is a walkway all the way around the theater. Now it's like this on the other side too. At the very front of the ship are the kids clubs. So you'd go this way through Gatsby's Garden. So we're heading aft now on Atlantic Deck 3. This is the warehouse video arcade. And as arcades go, I guess it's a fairly good size. And there's Sam's piano. And this is Sam's piano bar. And then this is Yellow Brick Road. So you've got Cherry on top, which is a candy store. You've got a liquor store called Portside. You have a Hip Fish, Beauty and Fragrance. And then this is the carnival shops, I think it's called. We've got Front Street, Fine Jewelry and Watches. Pretty much the same as on any other ship, right? The carnival store. So this is the Metropolis Lobby down here on Promenade Deck 2. And we're up on Atlantic Deck 3, and this is the Pixels Photo Gallery. So you can see there's pictures over there. Then they take your picture. This is one of the ships that still prints them out. This is the Gotham Lounge. Gotham Lounge. Got a bar there. And this is the city room. It's a conference center. On deck three, this is the Bacchus dining room. It's at the very back of the ship. They're having sea day brunch down on deck two. Um, let's take a look. So that's deck two. And there's tables and chairs going all the way to the side of the ship on each side. So we're on promenade deck two. That's the downstairs of the Bacchus dining room. And we're going to head into here. And there's a whole lot of places in here. 
One of those places is Dr. Frankenstein's lab. Dr. Frankenstein's lab is like a disco, um, and it's on two levels. So upper level, circular staircase down to the lower level. And of course, the monster. Dr. Frankenstein's lab is over there. We walked out and this is the alchemy bar where they do weird things with drinks. This is the outdoor promenade. And of course you can't go any further forward without going into Gatsby's garden. But there you have it. This is the outside promenade on deck three. Here's another view of the theater. I came in from deck four. Remember deck two, deck three, and deck four. This is where I like to sit. So we've gone up to upper deck five, and I'm gonna go around here and try to get to the kids area. We've walked all the way forward on deck five, and there's this door here and that sign. And this is where ages two to five penguins Camp Ocean. Or port. Well, there are sharks 9 to 11, stingrays 6 to 8. We've gone up to Lido Deck 9, and that's the Venus Salon in there, hair salon. And over on this side is the Adonis Spa. I think they just call it Spa Carnival right now. They have treatment rooms. And if you walk down this hall, you'll eventually get to the gym. So I came down past the front desk, down a hall, had to jog over a little bit. And there's this living room, sort of. And the gym. The gym is on several levels. Free weights up there, more exercise equipment, lots of these. So we're in the front of the ship, on Lido Deck 9, there was the spa. There was the Venus Salon. We're gonna go outside. There's two pools. And this is the first one. Ping pong. Swimming pool. Here's a look at it from the other side. So we just came out that door, and this is the pool. And I could go around this side, and you could go the other way too. The Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And there's the other pool. And this is the Red Frog Rum Bar. Red Frog Rum Bar. This is Guy's Burger Joint, but they don't open till noon, I think, or 11. So it's still morning. But Guy's Burger Joint, greatest hamburgers ever. Swirls, ice cream, and yogurt. Serve yourself. This is the Blue Iguana Cantina. More swirls on this side. You can get burritos, tacos, all sorts of things. Now we're entering Horatio's restaurant. Horatio's is the ship's buffet. And that's Horatio. So's that. So's that. Yeah. Horatio's, the buffet, is broke up into several sections. So there's chopsticks, so you get your Asian food here. You can go down that way. We're going to go over this side. And this sign says Comfort Kitchen, so they're going to have stuffed leg of lamb and these things. So they're setting up for lunch right now. But this is another section of the buffet. And over there is the pizza, free. Bonsai Sushi Express, six to eight dollars for a roll. So we just walked from the pools way down there through the buffet. I moved around a lot. And now we're going outside in Serenity, adults only. And it has a little pool and a spa also. Well, we're up on deck 10 now. 
There's the Serenity area on Deck 9. Um, up on Deck 10, they have more clamshells. And it's the end of the water slides. So we're up on Deck 10. This is the pool that they can cover. That's the cover. It slides out in case the weather's poor. Here's the other pool. Remember a few minutes ago we walked down that way. So this is the very front of the ship. Inside there is more of the gym. See that? But you can't see out because of these glass windows. Down there, you can walk out there, but you have to get to it from deck nine. We're up on sports deck 11, and this is the uh, miniature golf course and the jogging track. 15.2 laps equals a mile, among other things. 15.2 laps of this blue track. So now we're at the very front of the ship again. Down there is the gym and the spa. This is the basketball court. I suppose you could play other sports in there. We went back down to deck 10, and then I came inside here. This is sun deck 10. This is Nick and Nora's state house. I believe it's $38 a person to eat here. The food's very good though. We ate here on our last cruise. That's Nick and Nora's Steakhouse. And that's the red funnel. So it sort of gives a reddish cast to this whole place. We went back up to deck 11. There's a forward deck 11 and an aft deck 11. And we're at the aft. That's Serenity down there. This is the Green Thunder entrance. Apparently the water slides are closed today. This is the splash zone and it's closed too. I'm thinking because of the wind, because it is very windy out here. Well, that's about all for today. That's the Carnival Miracle highlights. Uh, and this is Gareth from Port Monkeys saying, Port Monkeys out, and I'll see you in the next port. Bye.